One man is dead after a double shooting that happened outside this low rise apartment building here on Winona Drive. Many shots were fired around one o'clock in the morning and as police continue their hunt for suspects, we are learning more about the victim. Neighbors describe him as a gentle giant. I just hear the gunshot. Just bow, bow, and you brrrr. A lot of shots come out one thing. I heard about one o'clock. I heard blam, 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 blam. Many residents were jolted out of bed by the barrage of bullets. Some telling City News they believe up to a dozen shots were fired. And what followed was chaos. One witness telling me off camera there was a group of people outside and they were running and screaming and taking cover behind parked cars. The information that we have at the moment is that the suspect or suspects, it was unknown the amount of occupants inside the vehicle, approached in a vehicle. Uh, we are canvassing for video to get a better description. When we have that description, we will let you know immediately. Does this appear to be a drive-by? Uh, all I have at the moment is that the suspects approach in a vehicle as to what transpired exactly. That part I don't know at the moment. The victim, believed to be 34 years old, has been identified by neighbors as Trevor Dalton John. I'm told he was a nightclub bouncer. He ran his own security company and was also the father of a 12-year-old boy. Those who knew him are in shock. I just cannot get to terms with it at all. Right. You know, it is just a heartbroken. It's like one of us gone. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what reason. Okay. A very humble, easygoing guy. He will talk to everyone. Yeah. Very polite. We know him. He has always been a cool person. He talks to everybody. He's very quiet, very polite. And I still can't understand what happened. A woman was also transported to hospital with a gunshot wound. Police say her injuries were considered minor. A BMW riddled with bullet holes was towed from the scene and her cameras captured a resident's car that was also hit by bullets. I mean, we have kids. We, this is area is with a lot of kids, family, people coming from work late. I do come from work late sometimes. We, any of us could have been the crossfire with this thing. So officers spent many hours canvassing this neighborhood. They are looking for video right now. Investigators are working on suspect descriptions and they are appealing to anyone who has information that can help this investigation to come forward. Shauna Hunt City News.